Halle Berry American Actress Halle Maria Berry is an American actress. She began her career as a model and entered several beauty contests, finishing as the first runner-up in the Miss USA pageant and coming in sixth in the Miss World 1986. Born, August 14, 1966, age 58 years, Cleveland, Ohio, United States. Spouse, Olivier Martinez, M. 2013-2016, Eric Benet, M. 2001-2005, David Justice, M. 1993-1997. Children, Nala, Ariella Aubrey. Parents, Judith and Hawkins, Jerome Jesse Berry. Height, 1.65 meters. Education, Cuyahoga Community College, Tri-C, Eastern Campus, Heskett Middle School, Bedford High School. Hallie Maria Berry was born Maria Halle Berry on August 14, 1966 in Cleveland, Ohio, and raised in Oakwood, Ohio to Judith and Berry, Nay Hawkins, a psychiatric nurse and Jerome Jesse Berry, a hospital attendant. Her father was African American and her mother is of mostly English and German descent. Halle first came into the spotlight at 17 years when she won the Miss Teen All-American pageant representing the state of Ohio in 1985 and, a year later in 1986, when she was the first runner-up in the Miss USA pageant. After participating in the pageant, Hallie became a model. It eventually led to her first weekly TV series, 1989's Living Dolls, 1989, where she soon gained a reputation for her onset tenacity, preferring to live her roles and remaining in character even when the camera stopped rolling. It paid off though when she reportedly refused to bathe for several days before starting work on her role as a crack addict in Spike Lee's Jungle Fever, 1991, because the role provided her big screen breakthrough. The following year, she was cast as Eddie Murphy's love interest in Boomerang, 1992, one of the few times that Murphy was evenly matched on screen. In 1994, Barry gained a youthful following for her performance as sexy secretary Sharon Stone in The Flintstones, 1994. She next had a highly publicized starring role with Jessica Lange in the adoption drama Losing Isaiah, 1995. Though the movie received mixed reviews, Barry didn't let that slow her down, and continued down her path to superstardom. In 1998, she received critical success when she starred as a street-smart young woman who takes up with a struggling politician in Warren Beatty's Bullworth, 1998. The following year, she won even greater acclaim for her role as actress Dorothy Dandridge in Made for Cable's Introducing Dorothy Dandridge, 1999, for which she won a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a TV movie-slash-miniseries. In 2000, she received box office success in X-Men, 2000 in which she played Storm, a mutant who has the ability to control the weather. In 2001, she starred in the thriller Swordfish, 2001, and became the first African American to win Best Actress at the Academy Awards, for her role as a grieving mother in the drama Monsters Ball, 2001. Family Spouses Olivier Martinez, July 13, 2013, December 2016, divorced, one child. Eric Benet, January 24, 2001, to January 3, 2005, divorced. David Justice, January 1, 1993, to June 20, 1997, divorced. Children. Nala Aubrey. Maceo Martinez. Parents. Jerome Jesse Berry. Judith and Hawkins. Relatives. Heidi Berry, sibling. Renee Berry, half-sibling. Trivia. On February 26, 2005, she showed up in person to accept the Razzie Award for Worst Actress for her role as Catwoman, 2004, and became the first actress to do so. Accepting the award, Berry smiled and said, Thank you, and I hope to God I never see you guys again. Saved from choking on a fig by Pierce Brosnan during shooting of the love scene on Cuba for Die Another Day, 2002. While well known for living her roles, she refused to bathe for two weeks in preparation for a role as a crack addict in Jungle Fever, 1991. Is the second Bond girl to win an Academy Award. The first was Kim Basinger. 
During filming of Gothica, 2003, in Montreal in May of 2003, Robert Downey Jr. was supposed to grab her arm and twist, but he twisted too hard and broke it. Production was halted for eight weeks. Lost some hearing in one of her ears due to a physical encounter with a boyfriend in the early 1990s. Stated that it was her role as a mother in Things We Lost in the Fire, 2007, that led her to make the decision to become a mother herself. In high school, she was a National Honor Society member, editor of the school paper, class president, and crowned prom queen. As of 2023, she is the first of only two women of color to win the Academy Award for Best Actress. The second is Michelle Yeoh, who won the award 21 years later for Everything Everywhere All at Once, 2022. Barry presented the award to Yeoh with Jessica Chastain. Her first $1 million salary was for Executive Decision, 1996, a role she earlier refused until she was offered $1 million is one of only four actresses, along with Faye Dunaway, Sandra Bullock and Liza Minnelli, to win both the Academy Award for Best Actress and the Razzie Award for Worst Actress. Dunaway shared her award with Bo Derek. When she won the Razzie Award as Worst Actress of 2004 for Catwoman, 2004, she became the first Oscar winner ever to attend and accept her Razzie Award in person. Can Play the Flute Is named after the Grand Old Halley Building in Cleveland, Ohio which originally housed the Halley Brothers department store. The building is now an office building and the fictional setting for the Winford Lauder department store on The Drew Carey Show, 1995. Adopted a cat that was originally an extra for Catwoman, 2004, named Play-Doh, to help herself learn about cats. However, she renamed the cat Play-Doh because Play-Doh was too serious a name for her. Her dress for the 2002 Oscar ceremony was voted the most popular from the first 75 years. Her father was African American. Her mother, who is white, has English, some German and Irish, and distant Dutch, ancestry. Halley's maternal grandfather was American-born, and her maternal grandmother was English, born in Solly, Derbyshire. On September 21, 2011, she broke her foot after tripping over a rock while chasing her daughter Nala on a day off from filming Cloud Atlas, 2012, in Majorca, Spain. Was four months pregnant with her son Maceo when she completed filming X-Men, Days of Future Past, 2014. As of 2004, was the highest-paid black actress in Hollywood. Sister of Heidi Berry Heidi and Hallie have a half-sister named Renee, from their dad's first marriage. Her parents, Judith and Hawkins, and Jerome Jesse Berry, divorced when she was four years old. She was raised by her mother. When researching for her role of Dorothy Dandridge, she discovered that she and Dorothy were both born in the same Cleveland, O.H., hospital. Turned down the role of Annie Porter in Speed, 1994. It went to Sandra Bullock was placed on three years probation and ordered to pay $13,500 in fines and penalties after pleading no contest on May 20, 2000 to a misdemeanor charge of leaving the scene of a traffic accident. The judge also ordered her to perform 200 hours of community service and make restitution as determined by the outcome of civil litigation arising from the February accident when she was driving a rented Chevrolet Blazer, ran a red light and crashed into another car on Sunset Boulevard. She left the scene of the accident before authorities arrived, suffered a gash to her head that required 20 stitches to close, and the woman, Hetel Raithatha, driving the other vehicle broke her wrist. Barry reported the accident to a police officer at the hospital where she sought treatment. Quotes. On Dorothy Dandridge, dot you have to find a way to be sad on every day, in every scene, in every moment. And always try to hide the sadness. And, then, you'll get the essence of who she was. During her Oscar acceptance speech, this moment is so much bigger than me. This moment is for Dorothy Dandridge, Lena Horne, Diahan Carroll. It's for the women that stand beside me, Jada Pinkett Smith, Angela Bassett, Vivica A. Fox. And it's for every nameless, faceless woman of color that now has a chance, because the door tonight has been opened. On choosing both serious and popcorn movie roles, there's art and there's commerce. You have to find a way to mesh the two. It's important to do the little movies, just for the love of the art. But it's those big movies that take you around the world and make you globally famous. I'll never get married again, 
and I always hate to say never to anything, but I will never marry again. I was black growing up in an all-white neighborhood, so I felt like I just didn't fit in. Like I wasn't as good as everybody else, or as smart, or whatever. Blackness is a state of mind, and I identify with the black community. Mainly, because I realized, early on, when I walk into a room, people see a black woman, they don't see a white woman. So out of that reason alone, I identify more with the black community. I spent a lot of time with a crown on my head. The worst thing a man can ever do is kiss me on the first date. I don't see a white woman. I see a black woman, even though my mother is white, her father Jerome is black. Knowing that has made my life easier, I think. On the lack of diversity at 2015 Academy Awards, I profoundly hurt by that and saddened by that and it inspired me to try to get involved in other ways. Which is why I want to start directing. I want to start producing more, I want to start being a part of making more opportunities for people of color. We need more people of color writing, directing, producing, not just starring. We have to start telling stories that include us. And when stories don't include us, we have to start asking, why can't that be a person of color, why can't that white male character be a black woman? Why can't it? We have to start pushing the envelope and asking these questions. Salaries Perfect Stranger, 2007, $10 million Catwoman, 2004, $14 million Gothica, 2003, $6 million Die Another Day, 2002, $4 million Monsters Ball, 2002, $600,000 Swordfish, 2001, $2,500,000. Executive Decision, 1996, $1 million.